on the previous episode of Cornerstone. For this time, we better make sure we have enough people to bake those pies, cakes, and cookies for this huge turn. Child, please. Miss <laughs> Jones just get here. She don't know nothing about us, nothing about any turnout we have it. I made sure I placed her name on the prayer list at church. She gonna need it. Lots of it. Chase, it's not what it used to be. You've been going, man. It's been pretty damn quiet around here. Really? All that's about to change. Cause your boy Chase is back on the scene. And I'm back in business. And you still haven't answered my question. That's because I don't have to answer to you. Is there anything else? Okay, then I guess we're done here. Hmm, where well, you gotta press on when life gets tough. You gotta press on when you, you don't, don't have enough. If ever you feel that things ain't right, Cornerstone will help you see the light. Do you think you'll be able to make your quarry rehearsal tonight? Yeah, I think so. We're working at that construction site in the Bronx. And we usually get off at four, so yeah, I should make it. Oh, is Miss Johnson going to be there tomorrow? Well, no, she's not back from Alabama yet. But Derek came back yesterday. When I spoke to her, she told me he really hated it down there. He was so miserable, she sent him back home. She'll be back as soon as she can find a good nursing home for her Aunt Mabel. I can't believe she sent Derek back by himself. Well, I think he'll be fine as long as he stop hanging around with those knuckleheads in the street. Besides, his mother is supposed to be looking in on him. Who? Shantae? Please, she can't even take care of herself. That's why Miss Johnson raised him in the first place. You know, that's the strangest mother and daughter pair I have ever seen. Well, strange as it may be, Shantae is still his mother. Yeah, some mother. Oh. This is what I've been meaning to ask you. How did Miss Jones get Joy to agree to have the choir sing at the bake sale? Well, it wasn't easy. Remember when she called Joy into her office to talk to her about the music program? Mm -hmm. Miss Jones wanted to ask her then, but she never got the chance. Joy stormed in, ratting and raving how the piano needed tuning. One thing led to another, and the next thing you know, Joy walked out that office and she was speechless. You should have seen her face. <laughs> <laughs> Joy is speechless. Uh, it just goes to show you, everybody's got a soft side. You know, she really is homeless. Joy is about as homeless as a barracuda. And as far as her soft side, it only surfaced while she's sleeping. But she did have a change of heart the other day because before she left the center she did tell Miss Jones that the choir would sing tomorrow at the big sale. Oh, any word on Jesus? Oh yeah, I saw him this week. He seemed to be doing pretty good. He said that an apartment came through for him and may have a steady job soon. Oh, good for him. Because after all he's been through, that man really deserves a break. Oh, and don't forget to pick up your choir robe from the cleaners. Oh, I'm going to pick that up tomorrow on my way to the center. Oh, okay. Well, have a good day. All right. See you later. See you later. Boy, one day I'm going to get a car just like this. Yeah, man. In your dreams. Nice, isn't oh. it? <sighs> Chase. Damn, man. You almost scared the hell out of me. Yeah, man. You shouldn't sneak up on us like that. You guys need to be aware of your surroundings at all times. If you're going to work for me, you got to always be on your guard. That means no mistakes and no slip-ups. Are you ready for your first assignment? Yeah, I'm ready. How much are we going to get paid? Hakeem, this dude is killing me, man. Chris, chill. Yeah, Chase, we're ready. My contact person will be in touch with you soon. They will deliver a package. And inside that package will be instructions. Follow it to a T. And remember, no slip-ups. You got it? Cool, man. You can count on us. If all goes well, you'll be down with the team. And you? I got my eye on you. Look, I'm out. Hey, 
look who's back. Hey, what's going on? Not much. What's up with you, Mr. World Traveler? Not really. Just glad to be back home. How was your vacation? It wasn't a vacation, and it sucked. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, man, it's so boring down there. There's nothing to do and no place to go. I'm just glad to be back in my own house. So when did you and your mom get back? I got back on Thursday. My mom's still in Alabama. So she sent you back to be by yourself? Check you out. Just turned 18 and he's out on his own. It's no big deal. It's just for a few weeks. So anyway, what you guys been up to? Oh, nothing. Just getting ready to start a new job. That's all. A job? Really? Yes, really. Yo, would you shut up? Yo, if you talk too damn much, don't pay no mind. So what's the big secret? This ain't no secret. You know, we just may have something lined up, that's all. Oh shit, you got a tattoo. Mm, it's a little something. Yo, D. Look who's coming. Look guys, I gotta go. Yeah, okay. Yo, D, I got a surprise related birthday present for you. you. Drop it off tonight around 10. What? Look, just be home tonight around 10. Derek, come here! Alright. Mommy called me and said she's been trying to reach you. Yeah, I know. I texted her and said I'd call her back later. Text her? Why couldn't you just call her back? Look, I don't know what's got into you, Derek, but you better knock it off with the bullshit. Now get on the phone and call her back. Yo, why are you trying to embarrass me in front of my friends? You can't tell me what to do. Boy, who do you think you're talking to? Don't you know I'm still your mother? You're not my mother. Just because you gave birth to me, Shantae, don't make you my mother. Derek. Derek, come back here. Boy, you better come back here. Derek! This midnight of A great turnout. Yeah, I guess so. See, putting Miss Jones' name on the prayer list really worked. Mm. Oh, yeah, little faith. Look, everyone knows where my faith lies, and it certainly ain't with she. Well, you must admit, it was pretty clever of Miss Jones to incorporate a talent showcase to lower people in. Mm -hmm. I saw flyers posted everywhere. Yeah, she's a sly one. That's why I'm going to keep my eye on she. Tanya! Tanya, come here! Tanya! Akeem, what do you want now? The man back in town. He's home all alone. My man? Who are you talking about? Girl, who you think? D. So, what is that supposed to mean? Well, you know what it means. You know you've been dying to get in them drawers. Now would be a good time for you to make your move. Akeem, why are you always trying to play the matchmaker? Dean, mind your business. So, Tanya, I'm going to pay Dean a little visit tonight. He just had a birthday, and I told him I was going to bring a surprise related birthday present. Meaning? Meaning that there's going to be a party tonight at these places with you like to come. Ew, Akeem, why are you always going to be so nasty? Look, we'll let you know. Well, who invited you? Yeah, precisely. Dean, once again, you need to mind your business. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Don't be over my girl face like that, all right? You play too damn much. Like she said, we'll let you know. I'll text you later. Yeah, we'll text you later. Stank! Damn, God, I hate them girls. I'm dancing to the neighborhood. You can do it and I can too. Now you do you Twist step on your right now Twist step on your left Heel and toe and toe and heel
kill Oh, funk it up, turn it up, let's go in Show me how you feel Twist step on your left now Twist step on your right Ms. Jones, this is really great Looks like Cornerstone is back on the map <laughs> Yes, it's so exciting The residents of this community are out in full force what a day. What a day. This is truly a demonstration of the power and effectiveness of a community when it makes a strong attempt to come together. Cornerstone. Cornerstone is a prime example of a nonprofit that has come back from the brink. And I applaud all of you, each and every one of you, for donating day after day, week after week, your time and talents to making this day a success. Your generosity and your loyalty to this community center have been nothing short of outstanding. And, I might add, Ms. Jones here has done an absolutely marvelous job of orchestrating this entire event. Ms. Jones, you are due our gratitude for that. <laughs> Listen, while we're all here together, let's encourage those of us who are not yet registered to vote to uh, visit that little voter's registration table over there. It will just take a few minutes to fill out your application, and you will be on your way, I promise you. And remember, every vote counts. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Thank you, Congressman Rivers. Yes, if anyone has a registered vote, please join us on your way out. It is extremely important that we are all prepared to vote in the upcoming election. Change is good, and your votes can help bring about change. Thank you all for coming. Right this way, it will only take a few minutes of your time. And for those of you who must leave, we have information for how you can register to vote online. Get registered now so you can cast your vote. It won't be long before the time is near. You're doing a wonderful job with that choir. Yes, she is. They sound beautiful. Thank you. And Sister Maxine, it was so nice of your church to let us borrow their choir robes. Miss oh. <laughs> Jones really pulled this together. Mm. Yeah, well, she might have pulled this one off. But I still say there's something very fishy about that. Fishy is not the word. Like my grandmother used to say, no matter how boys hog hide on the sheep's wool, him grunt betraying. <laughs> it just means people's true colors will always come to the surface. Speaking of, wow, isn't this wonderful? So Fatima, you know about this all this time and you don't say a thing? What? No, I had no idea if my dancers would be here to perform. I was just really hoping for the best. Oh, I thought everybody had gone. Hey, Smitty, we'll be out of your way in a bit. You know we're always the last to leave. <laughs> so, Smitty, how's it going? Things are going good. Um, no complaints. I still get a slight pain in my back every now and then. That's all. Other than that, things are real good. You need us to stay around and help you out with anything? No, no, that's okay. I'll be just fine. Okay. Oh, can you ladies uh, do me a favor? Sure, Smitty. What do you need? Uh, on the way out, could you drop this envelope in Miss Jones' office? Uh, someone left it in the mail slot for her. Sure, we can do that for you. Oh, just so you know, I didn't open it. It was already open when I got it. I picked up the envelope, the note and the check just fell out, just like that. You know who that check was for? Who? Who, Smitty? The note said, this is the last installment for Monica Johnson. Mrs. Johnson? Installments?
on you. I find complete love. Well, you gotta press on. You gotta press on. What would my life be here? 